All right, we're looking at the tropics right now, and there is uh, still some going on, but we only have one named storm at the moment, and that's Franklin. We're probably going to have two tomorrow. This one right here, this is the remnants of Emily. Probably going to regenerate into Emily tomorrow. It has a high chance. Conditions become more favorable tomorrow. Shear lightens up. So, But this is just going to head up to the north. This one now bumped back up to a medium chance. But again, that one's just going to uh, just meander around and eventually die out anyway. So neither of these are going to do anything to any landmass. We do have a new one highlighted here, the northwestern Caribbean and the southern Gulf of Mexico. There's nothing there right now. This is actually an upper level low that's going to sink to the south. But in its wake, conditions will become very favorable for something to spin up. We're going to see some tropical moisture on the backside of this start to lift. If we can get a little spin to it, there's potential for it to develop in the long term. We're talking middle of next week. Anything that, of course, comes into the Gulf of Mexico needs paying attention to very uh, much so. But again, nothing's out there right now. Just something in the future, possibly there as conditions will be favorable. Tropical Storm Franklin now north of Hispaniola, and it will continue to go north. This is the very latest advisory here. And similar, very similar. It's going to struggle a little bit and just gradually strengthen. Then conditions will become much more favorable, and it should really spark up into a hurricane, even a Cat 2, maybe even Cat 3. Getting very close to Bermuda, so they'll have to pay attention to this. A lot of the models go right over Bermuda, or even if it's to the left of Bermuda, to the west of Bermuda, they'll get on the strong side of the storm. But that's the only other landmass. After that, it'll get pushed out to sea by a, a big front that'll move off the northeast. Here's a front here. This will wash out, but all this moisture from it will push down into South Florida tomorrow, upping our rain chances. And in fact, we're already seeing some of it push onto the Treasure Coast. Here's one moving right ashore. Uh, south, south Hutchinson Island, just south of Fort Pierce Inlet. Another big batch coming ashore around Vero Beach or so. And that's what we're going to see through the night time hours for the Treasure Coast and then eventually pushing into the Palm Beaches. Temperatures right now still near 80. Lows will bottom out upper 70s to near 80. Highs tomorrow near 90. So not excessively hot. But uh, again, we'll track those showers. Watch how they push ashore here uh, through the morning hours. So maybe a wet commute for some parts of the Treasure Coast in the morning by lunchtime into the Palm Beaches. But by the evening commute, everything pushed westward and we dry on out. And we may even see slightly less humid air move in for Friday and the weekend and only isolated rain chances through the weekend also. Beach and boating forecast, not bad for most of tomorrow, but with that northeast surge of wind comes uh, more wave action. That'll be late Thursday, Friday, and maybe even lingering into Saturday on the Treasure Coast. Highs will be in the low 90s, lows near 80. Limited rain chances after tomorrow, but then we're going to bring back some tropical moisture and higher rain chances for Tuesday and Wednesday and next week.